Hello, my name is Kain Sandogenius and today's class will be how to build REST API in Visual Studio uh, using the C-Sharp programming language. This is really going to be very easy. Uh, some persons have found it difficult to build REST API. Some don't even understand what it is. So in this tutorial, we are going to build a REST API in few minutes and you'll see that it is really easy to understand. Uh, remember to subscribe, click on subscribe button so that you subscribe to my channel so that when I make new videos you get notified. I'm not going to spend time explaining the theory uh, but you can just read it by yourself. But just to give you an overview, a REST web service is a service you access over the web. For instance, you want to check today's weather and you simply go to the weather service and get today's weather. That is made possible by web service or you have a currency conversion you want to convert euro to dollar for instance if you go to your browser and type 20 euro to usd it uh, gives you the answer so this is made possible by a web service a web service actually takes your input does the calculation gives you the output so this is made possible by a REST web service or a REST API. So try to spend some time to read and find out uh, the much you can learn from this. So this, this is a task we are going to perform right now in a few minutes. We are going to create a REST web service in .NET that exposes methods to return list of employees and also return an employee based on, sorry, based on an employee ID parameter. So let's get started. You can do this demo using Visual Studio 2013, 2015 or 2017. So to get started, you simply go to open Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2013. Just go ahead to save file and, cho and choose new project. File, new project, uh, give it a name, API demo, that is what I'm going to call it. Okay, so take note that is in, is in a C-sharp, you can move to a web and then leave it at ASP.NET web application. So pay attention to this site, you need to leave it at empty and then choose web API. Make sure you choose web API so just say ok so at this point after some seconds it creates the project or the structure of your project as you can see so for these steps i'm following they are very clear i specify everything here you can actually open this in a different monitor you can extend your monitor you open this side by side so that you are following along uh, very easily all right so this is the the structure of the project you have controllers you have models so let's look at the next step the next step stay, says test the application so to test it just go ahead to click on run you see this button here click on it so I actually expect it to display an error page which will be okay by me and I'm going to explain to you how to solve this problem good so it says HTTP error 403.14 forbidden. All right, let's go ahead to continue and complete this. So the next thing we are going to do, let's see. And that should be step three. We want to add a controller. That is step three. We need to add a controller. So right click on controllers. You see controllers folder, right click on it and choose add and just say controller and since we want to display employees or an employee I'm going to call it meanwhile choose web API to controller empty and then call it employee employee controller okay so you always will need a controller so inside this controller what we are going to put there okay for now we create the controller and then we are going to create a model 
we are going to create a model because we need to use this model in the controller. What is a model? A model is simply a class. But you need to create a model inside the models folder. So in the application structure, find models and then say add and just choose class and make sure you call it employee. Alright, so each time the controller name uh, relates with the name of the model. So if you have student, you have student controller. If you have product, product controller and so on and so forth. So we want to create a simple employee class that has employee ID, it has a name and it has a city. I've written the codes. I'm going to copy and paste it in there. But for you, I recommend you type in this code by yourself so that you get used to uh, writing C sharp codes. So I'm going to paste and I'm going to save. So we've succeeded in creating a model. This is the same process you pass through in working with uh, MVC application. Now we want to create a list of employees and this we are going to do inside the controller. So I've created this list of employees. Remember the tasks we are performing says we need to return a list of employees. This code is creating a, a, a list of employee made up of three new employees that I had coded. In subsequent uh, presentations, I'm going to show you how to actually query this data from your database. So just go to controller and inside here you now create. So it displays this error, just right click on it, choose resolve the first one and just say using API demo that models so that it could actually see the models that is created inside the models folder. So we've created the list of employees. Now we need a method to return this list of employees. So write two methods. So the first method says, it simply says return employees. That is the first method. And this, that's, this method is get employees. So this is actually an API. So control V, I paste it. So this is the first method that says get employees. And now the second method. So I'm going to paste it. So at this point, we've created a complete web API. So let's see where we are. The next thing we are going to do, we modify the web api.config.cs. Before we do this step, I'm going to run it so that I can explain to you what exactly is happening. So I'm going to run this application right now so that I will explain to you what is happening. Now when you run the uh, web API application, it displays this uh, error, error page. So you can always append slash API. In an API application, always append slash API after the uh, the port number. So after that, you okay, let's run it to see, still nothing. The next thing is to append the controller. So employee, okay. So I've appended the controller and it displayed. Now I'm going to explain to you what is happening before we modify the web.config file, the web API config. So let's open the web API config inside the app stats. So web API config. Now take note, let me increase this. Okay, I want to change the view to to be uh, to zoom. Okay, um, it's it's not responding. So maybe I'll. Okay, so at this point we have this. So this API, remember we entered it in the browser. Now this is the controller. Remember we have employee 
controller. So the next thing, which is also optional, will be employee. Now we have ID. So if we say employee slash ID, we will likely get a result. But now the controller is already what you know, uh, employee or whatever you call the controller. But inside this employee controller, there will be several methods. Which of these methods do we call uh, for which URL? So these methods are called actions. These methods are called actions. Actions being performed when a URL is assessed or when a request is made. So it means that I'm going to say we need action so because there might be several uh, methods or several actions to be performed actions are simply functions or methods so which action is performed alright so let's see how it works so if I run this again so at this point if I say slash API slash employee so at this now this is a controller now I'm going to specify the action get employees you can see now I have the action is get employees and it worked so now what if I specify a different action for instance get employee by ID so let's use it and see get employee by ID so that's what I pasted so now it requires that I need to specify an ID so let's say 3 so you can see it displayed the employee number 3 so if I say get employee by ID 2 displayed employee number 2 so if you've come this far, you've actually built a complete REST API in Visual Studio. It's really this easy. I'm going to show you other things, for instance, how to uh, search for a particular employee based on certain criteria, or how to return a subset based on uh, the, the number of uh, the city it belongs, just to write a query to select the particular data you want. And also, I'm going to teach you about the REST uh, client that is we normally use. Because most times when you are writing a web API, you need to use a REST client, not just the browser. So, uh, thank you for reading. Uh, please check back for the next lesson. Now, you can find this lesson here, which is this one you're already uh, listening to. And remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and also share this with your friends like the video if it's helped you leave a comment to tell me what challenges you have or how these have worked for you